Hello doers! Lead scoring is a methodology used by sales and marketing teams to determine the worthiness of leads. And predictive lead scoring is a more specialized method of lead scoring that Odoo uses, which utilizes AI to automatically score leads. So predictive lead scoring is the method, and the probabilities that are generated are the actual lead scores. Together, these can help companies know which leads are most likely to end up in a win or a loss, but hopefully you don't lose them. Traditionally, lead scoring is done by manually ranking leads based on different factors. But Odoo's predictive lead scoring, however, makes these calculations automatically using a variety of data points, such as a phone or email quality, or even better, recognizing certain patterns across data sets in the database. Now, salespeople can use these calculations to adjust their sales strategies and focus on leads that are more likely to result in a sale. When salespeople are designated into specific teams, the entire sales department becomes far more organized. And when you have an organized sales department, companies are able to focus on specific target demographics and regions, strengthen their skills and sales strategies, and it allows salespeople to work together to close deals. So, enough sales chat. Let's jump into our StealthyWood database to see how easy it is to work with probabilities in the sales team using Odoo Sales. Alrighty, let's kick things off on our CRM dashboard by opening up an opportunity over here inside of the one stage. So we're going to click, let's do this cable management boxes. I like that a lot. Now from here, we can actually see all the information we discussed in the previous video. But right now we're going to focus on that probability field up here in the top. Now since this opportunity has already been won, as you can tell by that green banner over here to the right, the probability of winning this opportunity stands at 100%. And that makes sense, right? However, as we move opportunities to different stages of the pipeline, the probability will automatically update accordingly. For example, if I move this opportunity back to the qualified stage over here, would you look at that? The probability changes to reflect that move. Odoo calculates the probability of winning opportunities based on past data. This means the more that we, you know, we feed Odoo and our database with won and lost opportunities, the more accurate the predictions become. And don't worry, we'll go over wins and losses in more detail in the next video, so keep an eye out for that as well. Now this probability percentage can also be changed manually. For example, let's say that I know that this client is a bit wishy-washy. They don't always return our calls. With that in mind, all I have to do is type in the new number here. So if I go over to it and just type in 50, let's say it's a yes or a no, and then I save over here. Boom, look at that, it's done. However, when we change the probability manually, it will not update automatically anymore when opportunity moves through the pipeline. And when you do that, you'll notice another number with a little tiny green gear icon appears up at the top. Now that number is the number that Odoo calculated, you know, for its probability prediction, which we can quickly revert back to by simply clicking on that little gear icon and mm, chef's kiss. We're back right to where it was. That's perfect. We can also customize how Odoo calculates this probability on the CRM settings page. So let's go check that out now. We're going to click up here at the top for configuration and settings. It's my favorite page right there. Now from here, you're actually going to want to direct our attention to predictive lead scoring settings, which happen to be over here. Oh, sorry. I'm meant up here. Small little doopsy. Now this lets us know the probability of success and how it's computed and which leads Odoo takes into account for its calculations. When I select something such as update probabilities, you'll notice a nice pop-up clicks. And if I click inside of this field, we have a drop-down menu where I can select some other options. Let's say that I want language in here, for instance, since that seems to be a factor in whether or not we make sales. And you know the thing is, things like phone quality, which refers to whether elites have a viable phone number, doesn't really come to play here at Stealthywood. So let's delete that one while we're here. We're going to leave it at email and language. And we're going to keep everything the same, including the date, because that's what Odoo will use, considering what leads to use for its calculations. Then once we're done, we're going to hit update over here. And just like that, we're done. It's done. Now with that in place, Odoo will now calculate the success rate of each opportunity based on stage, email quality, and language. And I know you didn't see it in there, but that's because it will always use stage to begin with. It's one of those things that's automatic. Great. We did it, oh doers. Okay, so hold the thumb. We got one more thing to take care of real quick while we're actually here on the settings page. So let's actually activate the multi-team setting right there. And boom, we're done. We're going to hit save. Always save. And now we can take a closer look at sales teams. 
Now, the multi-teams feature allows us to assign individual salespeople to multiple sales teams. This can come in handy for a number of different reasons. Like, for example, if a company is short-handed but steadily expanding to reach new markets, they might want their experienced salespeople to spark interest in their new demographic without abandoning their other responsibilities. But that's just one of the many ways that multi-teams can actually be super useful. So feel free to take full advantage of it to your company's needs. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's take a look at the sales teams page, which you can find under configuration and sales teams. Here we see a list of all of our sales teams that we've already configured in our database, along with some basic info related to each one. To view or modify any information related to an existing sales team, all you actually have to do is click on the team you want to check out, like in our case, West Coast, Best Coast, over here into this sales team. And look at that, we also have our detail form now. Now from here, we can actually see the team name and a few of the details, such as our team leader, the email alias that we use. And we can even decide who we want to accept emails from. As you can tell from this accept emails from form over here, we can select everyone, authenticated partners, followers only, and authenticated employees. But for now, we're going to select everyone. We want everyone to reach us at this point. Now we can also decide which company this sales team is associated with. And we can even configure, in our case, a custom invoicing target over here. And that's per month if we want. Now beneath that, we have the best part. It's the team members over here. Inside of this tab, we can add people by simply clicking on the add button over here. Now when we do that, we're presented with a couple options. Well, first it's a list. And it's all the available salespeople. We could also directly create a new employee by selecting this new button right there. But we're not going to do that. Now, if we wanted to add multiple people at once, we actually just click multiple of these little check boxes and then hit, well, in our case, once we're done with that, we just hit select. But in this case, I only want to add Mark demo to the team. So let's find Mark himself. There he is. And we select him. Boom. Just like that, he's added. And if we want to remove any team members, we'd also just be able to do so by just clicking on their name, then hitting remove. But for now, let's not remove Mitchell Admin, we're kind of necessary for this. And also just because I want to show you something real quick. Okay, now to create a sales team from scratch, all we have to do is go back to our sales teams page, or we could do this cool little trick. We could just select new right there, and boom, we've opened up a new place where we can make our new sales team. So let's say that we need to create a sales team for our new European office. So we're going to type in Euro sales team, just because we're shortening everything. Now we'll click the team leader drop down field. And in this case, we need to select one. So we're going to select who's trustworthy. Sean Sampleton. Very good one. Actually, I'm going to change this up here. It sounded less cool than European sales team. Okay, once we're done with that, and this is why we did that, we're going to change this over here to our alias for Euro sales. Now emails will go there. And since we're getting started over there across the pond, we're also going to give our team a modest invoicing target of. 10,000. Sounds pretty doable. All right, now we need a team member, actually. Team member. We're going to add that in here. And we're going to pick Mitchell Admin, who happens to do everything. Now, if you remember, we just saw that Mitch was a member of the previous team that we looked at. But with multi-teams, it allows us to do that with a couple clicks. And now he can be in both teams. Well, that's it, folks. That's how easy it is to configure probabilities and customize sales teams with Odoo CRM app. Now we're almost done learning the basics of the CRM app, but we still have a couple things left to cover. So stay tuned for more useful Odoo knowledge in the next tutorial. Remember, go grab a snack.